Hey guys, Tyra up here, and it's happy days for me because I've upgraded my PC. Now you may remember my last PC upgrade video that was from April 2021. That's when I upgraded my processor, RAM, so you can check that out. This time we're upgrading the graphics card. And this is the one I've gone for, the AMD 7900 XT, specifically the XFX Speedster Merc 310. <laughs> Uh, I selected this one because it's kind of like what's available in New Zealand and what kind of pricing we have over here specifically. You know, I know that graphics cards in general are a bit of a ripoff, and in New Zealand, like we just get like crazy markups on tech as well. So that's why I went for this one. Second fastest AMD graphics card, fourth fastest graphics card on the market at the moment. So pretty strong one. And here's some of the uh, specs. 20 gigabytes of uh, memory and yeah so uh, happy days fast new graphics card for me uh, to facilitate that upgrade though I did have to update uh, my power supply at a 650 watt one before and it was pretty old too it's due, due a new one so I went for the fractal ion gold 850 watt uh, basically you know there's this PSU tier list which appears to be pretty well respected in the community for these kind of things. And uh, here it is, Fractal Design Ion Gold. It's in the uh, A tier, one of the uh, better P PSUs, so that's why I went with this one. And 850 watts, I believe, is what they recommend for the 7900 XT. So happy days. And then to facilitate all that, I also needed a new case. Unfortunately, my old case had a bunch of like hard drive cages in like, the frontal area of it which meant my graphics card would have been too long. In fact, my previous 1080 only just squeezed in. And my new one, my new graphics card, I think was about 40 mil longer. So yeah, I had to get a new case as well, which is fine because my old case, yeah, I think it was like over 10 years old, maybe even knocking on the door 15 years old. <laughs> it was an old case. Uh, yeah, I had like, you know, only USB 2.0 on the, on the front IO, so. Yeah, I went with the uh, Lancool 2 Mesh RGB. Uh, pr not the one I actually fully intended to get. I didn't realize that the uh, this particular version didn't have PWM fans on the front. PWM is kind of like a method of controlling the fan speed. So uh, not that desirable, which means I'll probably be switching the fans out to my old uh, Noctua fans, which I actually put on the PC during that last upgrade. So they're still quite new and I've got some nice 140 mil knock to us, so I'm going to probably slam those on instead because I think they'll be a bit quieter. But yeah, this this case, again, partially what's in stock and what was a good price in New Zealand, but it's also like if you look at the Gamers Nexus case reviews, this is like one of the top cases consistently, even though this one came out quite a long time ago. This particular case, and there's a Lancol 3 out now. Uh, but the Lancol 3 wasn't available in New Zealand until uh, March, so I can't can't be hanging about there, you know. But Code 2, or oh, Code 3 is coming out shortly, so uh, I need that upgrade before then. So yeah, it's uh, yeah really good airflow, lots of mesh everywhere on it. So uh, happy about that. And uh, somewhat unrelated, but I did actually switch out my RAM as well since that last PC update. I went with a 64 gig kit now, it's a little bit slower. This is my old RAM here, which was a CL16, faster timings on it, but yeah, only 32 gigs, so I went for a 64 gig kit. Uh, basically, I was doing some like After Effects work, specifically for that uh, Halloween video, and yeah, I was just running out of RAM, was causing all sorts of performance issues, making it a real chore to do uh, a lot of editing. So yeah, I switched over to a... Uh, higher capacity kit and there's not yeah i mean if i want to try get similar timings to this i would have had to spin like <laughs> over double so this is what i went for still pretty fast and uh, pretty good i also got a new ssd i went for a samsung 980 pro 2 terabyte the pcie gen 4 one so the fast one this is going to be my main drive for where all my games and stuff are installed and if direct storage starts to come to PC games, this thing is fast enough to be prepared for that. And you know, Samsung are very reputable brand when it comes to SSDs, so yeah, very happy with it so far. So, uh, have a look at some pics of the case. Here we go. Got my NHD15 in there. 
can see it's got this extra support bracket here, which, you know, it's, since it's so long, and it almost, you know, it's almost at the front there. That's what it's uh, looking like. I went for the white just because this was, again, what was in stock actually. <laughs> kind of funny. And uh, that's the back of it. It's got like two clear side panels. Got one of my SSDs out the back there. And that's with it with the lights on. But as I said, it's not going to be in that configuration for too long. So now performance figures. Here's my old uh, GTX 1080 at the top here. It's doing some testing. So you can see going to the 7900 XT actually didn't help me too much. About three on the average frame rate, 30-ish on the uh, max frame rate. Uh, yeah, 15-ish, 20-ish on the uh, average frame rate. So not nearly as big as my previous upgrade to my CPU, which was double. Well, the same graphics card when I went from the 4960K to the 5900X, I basically doubled my performance. Much more mild this time in Company of Heroes. It was in the uh, Code 2 performance testing. That's how I uh, came to these numbers. But then I forgot that I didn't activate react, uh, resizable bar. So I redid uh, that test again. And uh, it did net me an extra, you know, five-ish on the max, an extra one or so on the uh, average. So yeah, re resizable bar, a little bit of a boost to Co2 performance. And then I also retested DirectX to Vulkan. Uh, there was basically maybe like a couple days after I released my DirectX to Vulkan video, there was DirectX to Vulkan 2 released. I think I did mine on my 1.3, which apparently netted some big performance boosts. So I retested DirectX to Vulkan with my 1080 as well, which now I, th I think it provided less of a performance hit than my previous uh, numbers. And it also fixed all the issues that I had previously where it was coming to the wrong screen size. Um, like there was issues with recording on OBS, issues with screenshotting, all that stuff or oh, refresh issues as well. Like I only put dash refresh 120 in the launch options all that stuff got fixed for me in DirectX to Vulkan 2 so if I hadn't have upgraded my uh, graphics card here I would have switched to DirectX to Vulkan on my 1080 anyway given these results and that all the bugs were fixed so uh, that's that's good news for DirectX to Vulkan 2 and you can check my video if you want to uh, install that yourself all the links still work. You should be using DirectX to Vulkan 2, which is like one further down on the list now. Still the same uh, sites will work, same installation instructions. And then I decided to test that in with my 7900 XT, since uh, typically this DirectX Vulkan is supposed to work better with AMD cards. And actually, like Intel, the new uh, Arc cards were also a lot of people were using DirectX to Vulkan because. The Arc DirectX drivers are not so good from what I hear. But yeah, anyway, uh, using it with my 7900 XT, uh, I got a little bit more performance uh, with rebar enabled, like my minimum frame rate increased slightly, average and max basically the same. So yeah, I'll be continuing to use DirectX to Vulkan now with my 7900 XT. But didn't really change too much here it's basically identical to uh, not having it enabled and yeah I think at this stage I'm uh, CPU limited again which is why we're not seeing such big upgrades in my frame rates from this graphics card improvement uh, I actually saw on reddit yesterday or the day before somebody was using the 5900x and they were getting worse maximum frame rates than me but their minimums were actually higher so yeah, I think I'm back on the uh, CPU limited train, especially for my minimum frame rates and stability in that regard. But yeah, pretty happy. As I was saying, I wanted to get this upgrade in before Co3 comes out. No, Co3, you know, from what I've played, seems to be running uh, like reasonably well, but yeah, I want it to be running like, oh, just top tier for my streams and stuff. It's much more fun when uh, everything's running really well. It's, you know, that 
extra overhead from running the stream does uh, slow things down sometimes a bit. And yeah, at the same time, I'm also going to be doing my KOTU cast now in 1440p. So you guys will be getting some benefits, higher uh, bit rates and higher resolutions should be looking nice and sharp for my KOTU cast as well. So yeah, happy days. Direct 7900 XT, it's uh, online. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention actually, I have been having some uh, issues with the uh, 7900 XT. My uh, idle power consumption is higher than it should be. Uh, I've got that issue that's currently an issue where you have like two multi-monitor setups. One of your monitors like high refresh rate, high, uh, high resolution. So I've got a 1440, 144Hz monitor as my main. And apparently if you've got like two monitors, can cause like higher power draw but i imagine they'll be fixed at some stage but yeah i am having that issue and as i said with my uh lian lee case uh, i think these fans are a bit noisier so hopefully the noctors will hammer that out but yeah hey uh, new graphics card and yeah i done one stream with it so far and it was yeah running real smooth definitely like you know idle noisier at the moment I think, you know, with the idle power consumption, the, f the fans on the graphics card actually have to run. And the front fans, I think, noisier. But uh, when when the game's running, when I'm playing Code 2, it's way quieter, way, way quieter. So that's uh, really cool. So yeah, happy days and uh, see you in the next one. As always, a huge thank you goes out to my Patreon backers. They are the ones who make these PC upgrades possible.